Opening Music Hey there, ambitious men! Are you tired of feeling overwhelmed with information and ideas? Do you struggle to find the right notes or resources when you need them? Well, today I've got something that's going to change the game for you. I recently stumbled upon a book called Building a Second Brain by Chiago Forte, and let me tell you, it's a game changer. This book introduces a concept that will revolutionize how you organize and manage information. It's all about creating a second brain, a trusted system that helps you find valuable insights and ideas when you need them the most. Imagine having a reliable thought partner that organizes your notes based on actionability, rather than just topics, sources, or timeframes. That's what building a second brain is all about. It's like packaging up valuable information and sending it through time to your future self, right when you need it. Now, let's dive into the four sections of actionability that make up the foundation of a second brain. Projects, areas of improvement, resources, and archive. First, we have projects. These are the things you're currently working on, whether in your personal life or at work. Each project has a clear endpoint, and when you come across ideas or information that can help you complete a project, you store them in the corresponding project folder. This way, when you sit down to work on a project, you have all the valuable insights right at your fingertips. Next, we have areas of improvement. These are the long-term, open-ended areas of your life that you're actively trying to improve or maintain. They can include fitness, investing, home maintenance, or even different aspects of your business. In your areas of improvement section, you create digital notebooks for each area, where you capture player evaluations, tailored plans, or strategies to level up in that specific area. These notes are constantly evolving as you strive to become the best version of yourself. Then, we have resources. This section acts as your personal library of references, facts, and inspiration. It's like having a pantry stocked with spices and ingredients that you can use to make your next meal even more delicious. Your resource notebooks can include things like cool YouTube video thumbnails, strategies and meals for a specific diet, or checklists and data from past projects. These resources will serve as inspiration and guidance for future projects. Lastly, we have the archive. This is where you store information that doesn't advance a project or area of improvement, but you still want to keep for future reference. Completed projects, inactive projects, or resources that you don't plan to use in the near future go into the archive. Don't worry about losing track of your notes in the archive. With a reliable search function, you can find almost any note in under a minute. Now, it's time to put this system into action in your own life. Start by determining what meals you're currently cooking on the stove, what projects you're committed to finishing this year. Then, identify what meals you have in the slow cooker, what areas of improvement you're actively working on. And finally, stock up your pantry with resource notebooks that will inspire and guide you in your future projects. And don't forget to clean up your existing notebook system by moving the most relevant notes to your new second brain and archiving the rest. Remember, your second brain is meant to streamline your workflow and help you put knowledge into practice. Now that you have a taste of what it means to build a second brain, I highly recommend diving deeper into Chiago Forte's book. The insights and strategies in building a second brain are absolutely mind-blowing and I guarantee it will be a book you'll keep coming back to. If you'd like a one-page PDF summary of the key insights from this book, just click the link below, and I'll email it right to you. And if you're already subscribed to the free Productivity Game email newsletter, you'll find the PDF waiting for you in your inbox. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to share it with your ambitious friends. And as always, thanks for watching, and here's to having a productive week, Closing music, oh, and one more thing. If you found this video particularly valuable and it has helped you take action towards achieving your goals, consider giving a tip proportional to the value you received. You can find the link in the video description. Your contribution will help support the channel and allow us to continue creating valuable content for ambitious men like you. Thanks again. Hey there, fellow seekers of productivity and success. 
Have you ever felt like there just aren't enough hours in the day? Like you're constantly rushed and struggling to keep your head above water? Well, my friend, you're not alone. Many of us find ourselves in this never-ending cycle of busyness. But here's the thing, being busy doesn't necessarily mean being productive. Let me ask you something. Have you ever tried reading five books at once? Do you think you'll retain any of the knowledge from those books? Probably not. The same goes for setting too many goals at the same time. It's actually slower and less efficient than focusing on one goal at a time. Productive people understand this. They set stubborn priorities and tackle each goal one by one, giving their full attention and effort to each one. Here's a pro tip for you. If your top priority is to get a six pack, start your day with a thousand sit-ups. No excuses, no distractions. Don't let emails, texts, or any other lesser tasks interfere with your highest priority. Once that's done, then and only then can you move on to the next priority. Another difference between busy people and productive people is their ability to say no. Busy people tend to say yes to everything that comes their way, filling their schedule with tasks that don't contribute to their ultimate goals. Productive people, on the other hand, take the time to consider and calculate before saying yes. They know that simplicity and focus are key. As Bruce Lee once said, one does not accumulate but eliminate. By saying no to distractions and sidetracks, productive people create the space and clarity they need to thrive. Now, let's talk about deadlines. Busy people are often known for completing tasks just in the nick of time. Productive people, on the other hand, set unrealistic deadlines. Why? Because work always takes up the full amount of time you allow it to. Think about it. If you had to pack for a trip in 10 minutes because someone had a gun to your head, could you do it? You bet you could. By setting unrealistic deadlines, you force yourself to take immediate action and get things done. Here's a little secret. The most productive people have a daily to-do list with only one, two, or three things on it. Busy people, on the other hand, often have 20 or more tasks on their list. So the next time you make your to-do list, ask yourself, what is my highest priority? What can I eliminate? Am I just inventing things to feel busy? By simplifying your list and focusing on what truly matters, you'll gain clarity and make success a reality. If you found this video valuable, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more awesome and inspiring content. And here's the kicker. If you subscribe, like this video, and hit the notification bell, you'll unlock the secret to becoming a productivity master. It's that simple. Now, my friend, let's wrap things up with a question for you. What actions from this video are you going to implement in your life? How do you plan to become more productive and achieve your goals? Leave your answers in the comments below. And remember, if you found this video truly valuable, you have the option to give a tip proportional to the value you received. Check the link in the description for more details. Stay productive, stay focused, and together, let's create a life of success and fulfillment. Until next time, take care.